the day I've had, I don't need to be that close. Happy Thursday. I think the other day I said happy Tuesday and it was Wednesday or whatever day, whatever. It's all good. Um, I just made my tea and it is cold, very, very cold. So I'm very happy. That was a good first sip, first sip of my tea. Um, happy Thursday, and thanks for hopping on for my little quick tea chat today. So you guys, I just literally got back home. Hi, Suzanne. I, <laughs> this is what I did today. It was very different. I have all boys, and um, it's kind of rainy. Well, it doesn't look rainy outside, but it was raining this morning. It's my, both of my boys are on spring break. And Elias, my oldest, he already went back. So I have two boys home for spring break. And I knew I had to go do something over, we call it over the hill. It's, it's definitely a drive. It was like an hour coming back and I'm about an hour going there. So I asked them if they wanted to go school, like shopping for clothes. <laughs> We had so much fun and it's hysterical. All right, so Luke is 17, gonna be 18 in August. Hudson is 19, 19, and they don't have like, they, well, Hudson doesn't have a whole lot of money because he's in college. They were so excited to go shopping. So I was thinking I'd have all this time and I'd go into my stores, not at all. We went to the stores that when I was exactly their age, it is the same stuff on sale. It's the same stuff. The carpenter pants, oh my gosh, everything that they're buying, I'm like, geez, this is so ugly. <laughs> anyway, we had a lot of fun. What's really awesome about going shopping with your children is that they tell you a lot of stuff. So as I'm driving, you know, I'm kind of like being nonchalant. I'm driving in the car and, and it's really tiny Prius. It's like the smallest car made to man. <laughs> so we're very close together. Luki is six foot three. I had to take my front seat and push it like this much room just so Luki could sit in the back because I don't know why he wanted to sit in the back. Probably because he didn't want to talk to me that much because he's my least like chitter chatter. I have to really pull stuff out of him. But anyway, I know this is not very creative, but I do, I do have a creative thing to share. Um, but I just got back and the amount of information that I gathered on this trip, oh my goodness, from everything and everybody in college, what's happening in college, what's happening in high school. I think because they're almost, well, one's an adult, one's almost an adult, they can tell me anything. And I'm just like, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> Please don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. <laughs> they're doing great. I'm really proud of my kids. I just hope they always continue to make smart decisions. Um, all right, so I just walked in the door. I made a cup of tea. I made tea for my husband. My boys also like tea but they got some little coffee drinks on the way home. So they're all set. All right, so here's what I was thinking about for today. Uh, this is something that I started doing hmm, maybe five or six years ago. Look how beautiful it is now. The sun is coming out. Literally when I left, it was pouring down rain. Okay, so here's what I'd like you to do. The next time you go for a walk, now this could be in a crowded city. If you live in the city, it could be down the street, it could be in the neighborhood, where, wherever. Um, I used to always walk with my with a book going or a podcast. I became a podcast junkie like 10 years ago. If you guys ever wanted me to, actually maybe one of my, um, all right, sorry to digress. Maybe one of my third, one of my YouTube lives could be like my top favorite podcast. How's that? Do you guys wanna hear that? I'd be happy to share those. Anyway, I used to listen to podcasts when I was walking about starting your own business and sort of self, you know, development books while I was working in corporate because I didn't have all this extra time. So when I would walk the dog, I'd be listening to like how to market yourself. <laughs> so it was like multitasking. Then when I started working for myself and I quit the corporate world and I had, I wouldn't say I had more time on my hands, but I had more time 
in my home, I was working, you know, busy, busy, but I would go for walks and I would not bring my, I wouldn't bring my phone. I would just, I'm sorry, I wouldn't listen to a podcast or an audible, but what I started to do was pay attention to what was going on outside. And when you take a walk, if it's 20 minutes, 30 minutes, what, even 10 minutes, I want you to walk and really try to focus on something. It could be like one day you're gonna say, all right, when I go for a walk, I'm gonna look for anything pink. Or when I go for a walk, I'm gonna look for a round shape. Or I'm gonna go for a walk and I'm gonna see if I can hear different birds. Or I'm gonna go for a walk and I'm gonna count, I'm gonna see if I can find a blue door. So I want you to start thinking of a certain thing that um, you could either A, like think about before you walk or try to focus on when you're walking because what it does is it trains you to focus on things that are in the everyday. And I have been finding that I'm finding a lot of joy just in like the everyday little things sometimes they're more meaningful or they're just more, um, what's, the, what's the word I'm trying to say, peaceful. And they fill me up by just like the littlest things. Like I stopped the car today almost by your house. My boys were like, what are you doing? And I'm like, look, you guys. And a hawk came like really down low, like right over our head. And we were just like, look, I was, <laughs> I was, they were like, come on, let's go looking at the hawk flying by. But what happens is it just slows everything down a couple notches when you start paying attention. And when you start paying attention to these little things, you're gonna become more creative. And especially um, during when you wanna do some sketching and when you wanna be painting things in nature, now you're gonna start paying attention to certain things. So when you go for a walk, it could be like, I want to find a really pretty wildflower and I'm going to actually cut that wildflower, snip it off and bring it home. Um, but be on like that hunt for it. So instead of talking to somebody on the phone or listening to a podcast, which I love, but listening to a podcast or listening to music or being still, still distracted, um, when you go outside in nature, if there's anything you can do to, to just listen to the sounds look for certain colors or any color that you're drawn to. Um, the other thing that I love to do too is look for different patterns. And tomorrow, I think I'm gonna do it tomorrow because it was raining today and it's wet, but I wanna do a little this deconstructing exercise that's really, really fun with nature. Um, but it's been really great for me and I'm only encouraging you to do it because if I've tried it and it's working for me, I wanna sort of encourage you to try it too. And sometimes it's like a habit I had. Like I had a habit of listening to podcasts a lot. And um, and I was really like loving them. And I just craved listening to them. But then I now I just find a different time to listen to them. But now this quiet time in, my, in this nature walk has been really, really good. It's like a little bit of meditating, but outdoors. And I was thinking maybe you guys would like that if you want to try that. I'd love to know. So let me know if you do that. Also, um, doing this color thing or shape thing, one thing that I, if you guys have been following me, you know I might be a little bit of a heart seeker. <laughs> and I would like get set on my way. Like, okay, I'm going to start looking for hearts. And then I would find them. It's so crazy. When I was in Tuscany, the sweetest girl, Stacy, who I'm gonna actually be staying with Stacy and Cecilia, they were both on this Tuscany retreat. Another reason why retreats are so awesome because you can meet new people and they can become part of your lives. I'm gonna be in Colorado and Buffalo this June and I'm staying with Stacy and Cecilia, staying at Cecilia's house. But this is what Stacy told me. And so when we were in Italy, I was looking, I had told her how I love hearts and I find like the random heart, like random, it's not like a heart like this, but random little things outside are create, like our little hearts. It could be a drop of paint on the ground or the way, um, you know, branches are shaped. It's just random hearts. They're not necessarily like a drawn heart. So her thing was she always looks for pennies. She doesn't look for pennies. She finds pennies when she's like walking around, all of a sudden there's a penny. And that's her way of, 
her belief is that that's a little sign from the universe for her, like some angel sign, which I love. I always think that's with my hearts too. So going on these little walks, finding a little shape, looking for something that you've seen before that you would like to see again, like keep thinking about it in your head because then all of a sudden that's what you'll see. It's a little trick with sea glass too. If you start looking, if you're at the beach and you want to look for sea glass and you find one piece of sea glass and you have it in your head, like you want to find more sea glass, just look for that one piece of sea glass and then all of a sudden, that's what happens. Anyway, all right, so um, <laughs> I know that's a little bit of a ramble, but I just want to encourage you. It is so good for your soul to do that. So if you can do that, great. It's awesome. Let me know how, what you think, and maybe there's a shape or something like a symbol that you find when you go on walks or something that always pops up for you. It could be hearts too. They're very common. Um, or a certain color, you know, like the colors, when you think about your color palettes, when you're painting, like for me, it's this um, magenta or it's the sea foam and the blues. When I'm walking now and taking a walk, I'm always attracted to those colors. So keep thinking about that. And if for some reason too, like you're on a walk and you see a color that just makes you excited, I want you to either take a picture of it or if it's a flower or something, take a little snip snip of it, unless of course it's your neighbors, and see if you can paint that color when you get home or do something like that. All right, I have been told there's like food to, like we're cooking dinner and things like that to do, but I wanted to definitely pop on. And tomorrow I have, a, oh, I have something else I wanna tell you too. Tomorrow I have a really fun little exercise for you. I'm gonna hopefully do it and hold, and hold it up. Should be fun. And um, I released, and I'm gonna link it in the in the in the description today. Um, I finally released my free class for anybody who wants to get started in watercolors and is a little bit unsure of the art supplies and all of that good stuff. I have a, I think it's a total of 45 minutes to an hour class, and it's in three different parts. There's a supply section. And then there's two warm-up exercises section. It's super fun, super easy, and it's free. And um, so if you're ever thinking about it, if you're watching this on the replay and you're like, oh, I'm not too sure about watercolors, they look a little tricky. I want to tell you they're not tricky. They're super, super fun. And I just literally released that this morning. And, the, and as I did it, oh my gosh, thank goodness too for all of you guys who email me to tell me like, huh, that doesn't look right. I sent all the people who ordered my live workshop a email that says, thanks for signing up for my free beginner class. And then I sent all the people who ordered the beginner class, thanks for signing up for my, my, my live workshop. Obviously a lot going on, but as a one woman show, sometimes you do mix up the tech stuff. So if that happened to you, I'm sorry, but you know what to do. You just click on your, click on your classroom and you'll be all set. Um, so anyway, I'll link to that and let me know if you have any questions. It's just a really simple, fun little class I made over the weekend and hopefully you'll like it and I will see you guys tomorrow. And if you want to be prepared for tomorrow, I want you to bring a couple little flowers that you either found outside or you have in the store or you have at home, whatever it is, or some photos even. No, you need the real thing. Um, but you may not want to do what I want to do. So we'll see. You'll see what I'm going to do. And then you can decide if you want to do it to your flowers. <laughs> I'm almost giving it away. All right, you guys, I will see you later. Have an awesome rest of your day. Happy Thursday. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.